Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Davide and here I'm going to give you the perfect study guide to not only pass, but excel on your 11th grade U.S. History Star Test. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, here's how this is gonna go. So first, I will review an important topic for the test, and then I will post a practice question from an actual STAR test anywhere around the screen. So just keep in mind, and before it's time for me to answer the question, make sure to pause it. I will leave about two seconds for you to answer the question before it's my turn to answer it and go over the reasoning and logic behind the question. The Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, created by Richard Nixon, has a primary goal at reducing pollution and protecting the environment. It was created or founded in 1970. Which national government entity is responsible for achieving these goals? F. National Park Service G. Department of Homeland Security H. Environmental Protection Agency or J. The Federal Emergency Management Agency Let's read the goals. Goal 1. Addressing climate change and improving air quality. Goal 2. Safeguarding America's waters. Goal 3. Cleaning up communities and sustainable development. Goal 4. Ensuring the safety of chemicals and preventing pollution. My safe answer choice here would be Environmental Protection Agency. So the correct answer is H. For this next question, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I already have an abundance video. So that should be here or here. So this question says, read the list and answer the questions as followed. 19th Amendment, 24th Amendment, and 26th Amendment. What was one reason why these amendments were added to the Constitution? Because we're speeding on this question and I already have a video linked, the correct answer is D, to expand the rights of individuals to participate in government. All these amendments here, they were given and listed for the rights of people to vote and to have equal rights in any kind of government ruling. So whether that be Congress, House of Representatives, any kind of government ruling. So, yeah. Next topic, the Great Depression. The Great Depression was an economic shock that impacted many countries across the world. It was a period of economic depression that became evident after a major fall in stock prices, which was a stock market crash of 1929 over the United States. Question time. How did the Great Depression affect American society? I'll give you a few seconds to pause if needed. The answer is D. Businesses were forced to close, causing widespread unemployment. Next topic, NATO. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was created in 1949 by the United States, Canada, and several European nations, providing collective security against the Soviet Union. The NATO was the first peacetime military alliance the United States entered outside of the Western Hemisphere. All right, question time. I'll give you a few seconds to pause if needed. NATO was created in response to concerns about, the correct answer is F, the Soviet Union and communism. If you were paying attention while I was explaining what NATO was, NATO was created mainly for safety against the Soviet Union. Suffrage was the woman's right to vote, which is something that was definitely not granted to them around the 18th century. So some people decided to step up and take charge. Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton formed the Women's National Suffrage Association. This group's main cause was to find a way for women to get their own amendment, allowing them to vote. And after a while, they finally got what they asked for, the 19th Amendment, women's right to vote. Now I'm gonna leave this question on the screen. Pause if needed. All right, let's read the question. What was one result of activism shown in these photos? The correct answer is D. It brought national attention to these problems associated with voting. You can see from 1919 to 1965, they didn't stop promoting the fact that women should be able to vote. This showed progress and attention given over time. That is why the correct answer is that it brought national attention to problems associated with voting. Total War is when all civilians are utilized with their resources, using them as a booster to those actually fighting in the army. For example, they would tell regular citizens to send their pots and pans 
and send their metal scraps to send to the warfighters so they can use them to create weapons. So indirectly, everyone is helping fight the war. All right, question time, pause if needed. Let's read the question. The photograph shows an example of the correct answer is F, U.S. citizens contributing toward the war effort. As I explained, total war is basically U.S. citizens putting their all into or indirectly helping fight the war. So this shows people picking up um, seeds to help plant and harvest vegetables to send so the fighters can have something to eat for the war. So indirectly, they are also fighting the war themselves, putting in their small bits and pieces of effort to help combine to the term total war. As we've already talked about suffrage, let's talk about NOW. NOW is the National Organization for Women. This supports equal rights amendments and equality for women. It is also the largest nonprofit organization in appreciation of women and their rights. This helped bring attention to the issues of feminism. All right, question time. How did NOW affect the feminism movement during the 1970s? The correct answer is D by supporting the proposed equal rights amendments to the U.S. Constitution. As I said before, if you were listening earlier, that the NOW movement, National Organization for Women, helps support equal rights and equal beliefs for females. This question is pretty simple. I'm not going to go into too much depth on it, so pause if needed. Question. How did Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s 1963 speech, I Have a Dream, affect United States politics? The correct answer is J, by increasing pressure on political leaders to pass federal civil rights legislation. Um, I think this question is pretty self-explanatory and will not need much explanation.